Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to see about how to use galvanometer as a meter. Okay, let's go to the topic. This is the diagram of the conversion of galvanometer into an ammeter. So here is a galvanometer and we are connecting a low resistance parallel to this path over here. So as you know, if we pass a full current to the galvanometer, it will damage the galvanometer coil because it is very sensitive instrument. For that purpose only, we are cons we are connecting a low resistance in parallel to this path. So the max current will flow through here and a small amount of current will get flow through here. Like for example, if the input supply is 10 ampere means, 1 ampere current will flow through this galvanometer and the remaining 9 amps will flow through this resistance. So that's why it has written as I minus IG because our input supply is 10 amps means 10 and we know here the 1 amp current is flowing through here so 10 minus 1 is equal to 9 so 9 amps current flow through here so that's why we are taking i minus ig when we are connecting a low resistance parallel to this galvanometer then the voltage drop across galvanometer will be equal to the voltage drop across this resistance. So we are taking as galvanometer voltage is equal to low resistance voltage. As per Ohm's law, we know that V is equal to IR. So we are taking it as galvanometer current into resistance of galvanometer is equal to the low resistance current. So I minus IG, we are taking it over here as I minus IG into resistance, we are taking as RL low resistance now we are multiplying this rl inside to here so we know irl minus igr now uh, we are having both ig over here and ig over here as common so we are taking this ig to this side so we are taking ig uh, galvanometer current as constant and rg plus as this is minus is coming over here it will become plus so galvanometer resistance plus low resistance is equal to IRL now the input current I is equal to this RL is we are dividing over here we are sending it over here so now the the formula will be become like this now we know the resistance which are connected over here we know the value of this and the resistance of galvanometer is also a non value so we are considering this as a constant constant g is equal to we are taking this value as galvanometer resistance plus low resistance divided by low resistance so it will become input supply current is directly proportional is equal to galvanometer current so it is what how it works normally this ammeter is connected in series into the circuit to measure the current okay thank you guys i hope you had understood the topic we'll see in next video